Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Wednesday to us all. Hope we're all having uh, a midweek boost of energy because we know it's not long now till the weekend. We're at that halfway point. The only way is up. So, uh, um, yeah, so let's just have a look where we left off in the last episode. Um, so, yeah, so we finished the, the original season um, and now we've got and then we basically we got sixth place, so we just scraped into the European playoff group thing. And surprisingly, we won our first game one nil against Hearts. We've got Rangers next, who we lost one nil to recently. Um, Hibs, Saint Mirren, and then Celtic. So I don't fancy our chances personally, but um, we've got forty six points. I don't. I think we've got to get. We've got to get fourth. We've got to get fifth place. Fourth place, sorry, we're going to get fourth place, um, and we're nine points behind Hearts. So everything's got to go perfect for us to get in them spaces. So I don't think we're going to get them, but we can still technically maybe get fifth place. So that'll be a good achievement. But even if we just get sixth place, we've done really well. Um, but yeah, like I said, we've got Rangers next. Um, I've signed a new contract, so at least I ain't got to worry about getting sacked. So that means the save will continue. Because the end game is to basically dominate on the domestic and European front with Rafe Rovers. Maybe I'll just do this and try and beat the record that Celtic got when I think I think it was Celtic or Rangers where they won ten Scottish premierships in a row or something like that. Maybe that might be one of the aims. Or I might just win a couple of league titles and maybe win a European trophy, whether it's Europa League or, you know, the end goal is to try and win the Champions League. I want to see if I can actually do that with Rafe Rovers. Whether it's achievable, I don't know. I'm quite happy to keep playing this save until FM25 comes out, personally. Uh, I'm enjoying this save. So, yeah, so I'm quite happy to keep going. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. I hope we're all okay. I uh, I had an interesting experience on Twitch yesterday. So I've been the last couple of weeks I've been live streaming on Twitch. Um, TEW twenty twenty, which for people who don't know is a is basically the wrestling version of Football Manager, um, but it's very difficult to stream because of the software that the comp the company that makes it uses. So I have to keep adding screens every time to the software I use. Um, and my friend Josh suggested a another game called Pro Wrestling Sim, which is fairly similar. So I, I bought it there live on Twitch because they kept going on about it because they really wanted to see what it was like. So I spent 18 quid, bought it. We, uh, we tested it out. I did a little save as TNA Wrestling. Um, it's a, it's a lot easier to use than TEW. So the initially I was really impressed. Um, the graphics look really good, um, and everything else. And then I was just like, this is not not good. So this is basically obviously people remember Championship Manager and Football Manager. Do you remember when Championship Manager and Football Manager the people decided to split up, and we had Football Manager, which was the far superior game, and then we had. Briefly, for a few years, we had Championship Manager. Basically, that's what the situation is. Pro Wrestling Sim is literally like the champion, the, the Championship Manager, not the classic good one that we all loved, but the one that come after when the the company split up. So yeah, if you want a faster, more condensed version of TW, then Pro Wrestling Sim is the one for you. I would say it's like the equivalent of when you play FM Touch. Basically, is Pro Wrestling Sim. But if you want something a bit more with a bit more meat on the bone, I would definitely go with TEW 2020. Unfortunately, um, my friend told me they're not making any more TEWs, which is sad. So um, I think it's because the owner doesn't want to doesn't want to get better software because it will cost him more um, to produce, which is a shame. So I'm hoping one day someone like Asai Games, Zega, you know. They end up making a wrestling version of Football Manager that's literally as good as Football Manager. 
but I just don't think they will because there's not, the, for as far as they're concerned, there probably isn't as much interest. But I say that, but I get a lot more people watching me um, playing TW 2020 on Twitch than I did when I was playing Football Manager. Um, so there is a niche market there. We will see. Anyway, onwards and upwards in this. Uh, we've sold Adini. Hopefully we can get someone better in in the summer. Hopefully because we've, we've, if you never know, if we on the off chance we do get European football, that does mean we will be able to get slightly better players in. So we will see how that goes. We've got a big game against Rangers first. If we beat Rangers, I might be slightly more confident, but we've got to beat Rangers and I don't think it's going to happen. They are top of the league for a reason. That's if you have a look at the league table, I think they're, yeah, they're like seven points clear of Celtic. So it's been a very dominant team there. Right, let's have a look at the assistant manager, what he's decided to pick. Uh, still in goal, Rue is right back. We've got Dabo as left back, which is not his usual position. Uh, Warner and Welsh in the centre of defence. Rios and Yeo Paulo in the centre of the field. Bowler on the right, Nadini in the middle, Middleton on the left. Oh, I don't want Ennis. I don't know why it keeps also picking Ennis. I'm going to put Uchi up front, I think. Where is Hoyland? Hoyland's probably injured, isn't he? Yeah, I'll put Uchi up front for this one. In fact, I'm going to put Ennis in my under-21 so it doesn't keep picking it. Let's try that now. Let's see what it suggests. There we go. Are we going Muskwe? No, we're not. Why is it saying Muskwe here, but then saying Uchi there? That is really weird. Let's try it again. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I have no idea who's playing up front in this game. That's really weird. That's never happened before that I know of. Anyway, let's see how we go. Um, before it all kicks off, thank you as always for subscribing, following me. Um, and people, thank you to the, the regular people who keep consistently watching my videos. I do always appreciate it. I hope you're here enjoying the content um, and the journey that I'm on with Rafe Rovers. So, yeah. Oh, it is Musquee up front. I've just seen it. Oh, I need to change it. Uh, last game, I played Vaughan up front as a DLF, but I need to do pressing forward, attacking it. Yeah. I need to remember to change that before the next game. Oh. Good save. Rangers already dominating us. Not much has happened since that first highlight. Two players booked already. That worries me a bit. Staying in the game though, so that's good. Got the skin of our teeth though, but we've got a free kick, you never know. We might FM Rangers at this rate. I mean, they've had five shots, five on target, but only 0.34 XG. Right, first half ends. Uh, I'd probably take a draw at this point. Oh, are we going to have a goalkeeper cock up here? No, yeah, that's a shame. Can we get the ball off them? Yes, we can. Do not give them a penalty. I was worried then that was going to be a penalty. Ah, good goal by that player. Oof. See you, Ventes. There you go. I'm off to the cinema for a date night today with my uh, girlfriend. We're going to go and watch The Iron Claw. Been wanting to watch it for weeks now. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. I probably will cry because I know the backstory behind the film. And it's very, very upsetting. And a lot of people I know who are wrestling fans have watched the film have also cried. So I'm not ashamed to cry. 
I don't see it as a weakness. I see it as a strength if you are in tune with your emotions. Um, especially with mental health being so bad at the moment, we do need to accept that we have our moments of weakness. And it's okay to ask for help. So, yeah. And if anybody needs any help, you know, anybody want to talk to somebody, uh, message me on Facebook or Twitch. If you just search for uh, um, Ronaldo Beckham on there. You'll find me on there. Lucha FM is the Twitch one. Ronaldo Beckham on Facebook. You know, if anybody ever feels really down and needs someone to talk to, I might not be always the best at responding quickly enough, um, but I will respond eventually. Anyway, we are in possession now. Sorry about that. The uh, that went a bit that went a bit deep, didn't it? Oh, look at that. It's going to be disallowed, though, isn't it? No. Oh, that's good. I thought that was going to be disallowed. Right, we got a free kick. You never know. We might end up getting a win here out of nowhere. Oh, not with free kicks like that. Right, Middleton, you're coming off. Put Palacio on for you. Oh, we've got an injury. Uh, Deli Alley, and then we'll push him a little bit further up here. Right, let's see what we do here. I'll be gutted if we lose this game now because I feel like we've done well to get back into it. Come on, get the ball off him. Yes, go on. Oh, Delhi, what are you doing? Oh, for God's sake, red card. Ugh. Dabo, you're such a liability. Dabo's definitely going in the summer. Luckily, it wasn't a penalty. Could have been worse. But we better go. Uh, Have I got any right backs? Yes, I have. All right, Swanson, you can go there. Left back, sorry, not right backs, but yeah, you know what I meant. Um, at least it gives us a bit of a better defensive shape. But I just feel like as soon as you get a player sent off like that, like that, like clockwork, it's almost as if it was meant to be. It don't matter who you get sent off. You can get a striker sent off and on FM somehow you lose. Which don't make sense because in real life there are teams that get a, sent, a man sent off and they grind out the result. You know, I'd understand if it was a defender or a defensive midfielder that sent off, but which is in the case, this case, but there's been times on here where a striker's got sent off and I've lost. Oh well, we've uh, lost the game and given Rangers the title. Where does that leave us then? We are still six. We're playing Hibs next. We can't catch up with them. Uh, our back -o. he looks pretty good. I've got this file where I think it it makes like loads of players in the Irish League really good. I can't, I can't. It does something with the Irish League because I'm seeing a lot of good players in the Irish League, and I don't know why. Um, it's my fault for not checking all the files that I've got. I get. I'm a bit of a hoarder on this stream workshop. I download all the files and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, we're nine points behind Hibs now. How many games are left? I don't think there's any point really, is there? Well, we ain't going to win any. We ain't going to get any further than we are. So, uh, I think. When's the next game? Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a minute. I'll figure out what I'm going to do in a sec. And we're back for the next part of the episode. Um, what I was going to do was just holiday the three last remaining games. Um, because there's nothing to play for now. But I thought might be there might be good to you. Um, you know, because we're playing Celtic at some point, so that'll probably be a game. So I'm just going to play the games. 
So yeah, so that's why I needed to have a think. Uh, we failed to qualify for the European Conference League. Uh, mm, yeah, okay. So they're not happy. I mean, luckily I've signed a new contract, so I'm hoping they don't sack me. Because that would be really annoying. Uh, Gary Rowe. See, he's probably been one of the highlights of the season. He has. Look at him. Absolute brilliant player. Only 18 as well. We got him for two years at least. So I'll see if we can get him a new contract. Only if I can extend that. Ah, four years. That's more like it. Ah, sugar. Ah. Uh, mm, I'm not happy with that change. Oh, it won't let us. No, I'm going to have to walk away. I have to rethink that later on. I think twelve and a half million for him. Ah, there we go. Lewis Vaughan happy to stay. Ah, there we go. He's 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 fell he's fell back in love with me. Why won't let me click on him? Uh oh. Oh, I've got a bad feeling. I think he's retired by the looks of it. Oh, maybe my mouse is playing up. I don't know. Go back. No, it's all right. My mouse is playing them. Right, let's see if we can get him a new contract. We can. Yep. Let's try four years. There we go. We've got our main man here for the next four years of his career. He'll retire here. Hopefully, he won't. He won't replace me as manager though. Yeah, just going through these now. When's Hoyland back? Keeps suggesting bloody, keeps automatically picking Ennis. So annoying. Right, Warner's out. It's out for about a week. Out probably for the next, this game and maybe the next game. Yeah, definitely next game, because next game's three days' time. We've got nothing to play for, but we're still going to play these games anyway, just for pride more than anything else. Right. I want Deli Ali playing. I'm going to have him playing up front. There we go. Uh, actually, no, we'll play Lewis Vaughan. And we'll play Deli Ali there. So there we go. We've got the, my favourite players playing now. Uh... Pretty much straightforward other than that. Max Power's playing as well. Let's see how we get on. Sorry, I had an itch on my face there. This mask gets a bit this mask gets a bit itchy after a while. Uh, yeah. Not that you needed to know that. Um uh, right. There you've got the first highlight. Ooh. Go on, Delhi. Oh, Delhi's just being very casual. We'll let him off. Lewis Vaughan with the free kick. Ooh, just over. Corinthian start, though. I don't know why the board are unhappy, though. We've managed to get a top six finish in our first season in the Scottish Premiership. What are they expecting from me? I'm not a miracle worker. Good interception there by Ball. Giron Deli sets up Vaughan. Vaughan carries on. Daringo. Ah, straight in the keeper's hands. What is it? Yeah, Daringo. Sorry. Daringo. Right, end of first half. Let's do a bit more encouraging. We've got a corner, Vaughan. Oh, it's a different corner. I've not seen that before. Ah, didn't work out well there. Go on, Max Power. Oh, Max Power with the power, but too much power from Max Power. Go on, Delhi. That was not to any of our players, Delhi. Come on. Oh, 
I thought that said Astra then. I thought, oh, they got a car playing from. Uh, Johnny Kenny scores for them. John Joe Kenny, whatever his name is. Right, demand a bit more. We have been playing well. Uh, so you never know. Nice bit of passing going on. Vaughn picking out the beautiful Hollywood pass there. Ah, uh, lucky Rui. Rui, Rui, Rui. Ball. Yes, get in. Josh Bowler. He's been a good player for us this season. How's he done? Oh, he's in, he only joined in January, didn't he? But uh, six games, two goals, three goals, sorry now. So yeah, hopefully next season he'll he'll start playing like he'll he'll be like a first team regular. Oh, he's knackered though. Got to take him off. Middleton. On. Sadly, Deli Ali is not playing very well. I'll fire him up and see if that'll do anything. Right, Rui. It's a ball. Delhi. Oh, it's had the reverse effect. Delhi Ali. Come on, Delhi. Don't let me down, buddy. We're performing well against Hibs here. Oh my god, Delhi, you're coming off. I'm sorry. I don't know what's up with you today. You're really disappointing me. Maldini can come on. Right, we can't make any more subs. We can't make any more subs. Nope, we definitely can't. We're down to 10 men. That's not good. I shouldn't have took Deli Ali off as rubbish as he is. I should have waited. Right, we're down to 10 men, so you know what that means, everyone. Don't expect anything else other than a Hibs victory here. Because it's FM. There you go. Oh, well. Not the best of end of season that we were hoping for. But at least we got sixth place. I think that's an achievement. I don't care what the board say. The board needs to be more realistic with their aims. Uh, have we got one? Have we got enough for one more highlight in our favour? Oh, maybe. <gasps> what a goal! Nah, just loud though. Yeah, come on, ref. Let's get it done. Nah, what a surprise. What a surprise. It's not going to break from the norm, is it? Come on, let's be honest. Go down to 10 men and actually get a point. Oh, you have another laugh in you, mate. Well, there we go, you never know. Middleton determined to score in this game. It's a shame he hasn't. Oh, well. Few injuries to sort out. He's pretty good from what I remember. I swear I've signed him before. And he's a free transfer as well. We all love a free transfer. Especially South American. We don't want... Oh, I don't... Mm, no free transfer from South America? Yes, I think so. Thing is, I sign all these South American free transfers, but most of them don't work out, do they? I don't think any of them have gone on to be amazing for us. If anything, I've had the best success with the British players. And obviously Hoyland. Right, set mirror next game. Maybe we can win this one. Let's see how we do. All right, Castillo. Castillo's been pretty good, actually. 
So he's been one of the exceptions to the South American rule. Still only 23, Colombian player. Play, played a few times through the under-20 team. So you never know, we might get a... We might, he might become a Colombian international goalkeeper by the time we finish with him. Just signed former Rangers player, a youth player. I think he might be Alan Hutton's son. I don't know. We'll just assume he is. Doesn't say on there. Alan Hutton, the uh, Scottish um, Cafu. I remember watching him when I, when I had a season ticket with Villa for that one season, the first season they were in the Championship. And uh, it was a, a bit of a slog to watch at the Villa at that time. But one of the players I was impressed with was Alan Hutton for his commitment. Um, he wasn't the best technical player in the world, but he, he always put 100% in. 100% in, sorry. So, yeah. So, I always rated him. Good old Alan Hutton. Right. Here we go. Let's see who... Uh, let's put Vaughan back in there. We'll leave Deli Alley there for now, but he better bloody play well in this game or else he's coming off straight away. Right, let's see how we get on. Come on, Deli Alley. Don't, don't make me think I've made a big mistake keeping him here. Prove me wrong. That's not the best start, is it? 1-0 down after less than a minute. I've already shouted at them. That was poor concentration by them. What happens if Dundee United win their next game and we lose ours? Do they somehow get in sixth place? I don't know. I don't think that's possible. I feel like they're going to absolutely thrash us in this game. Our players are just not happy at all. Ay, 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 ay. Right, corner to that. Ah, oh, 2-0. Same, same situation. Nathan Wood, Nathaniel Wood, where his name is, Nathan Wood. Header from a gazelle cross corner, whatever it is. <sighs> Weirdly, Deli Alley's one of our best players in this game so far. Right, Middleton, go, run. Run like your life depends on it. Yeah, send him off, ref. Oh, I was hoping that would be a bloody red card. We miss Hoyland. We definitely miss Hoyland. As good as Lewis Vaughan is, he's not, he's not good enough to be starting. Swanson's not playing particularly well. Uh, I haven't really got anybody competent to replace him. I'm not trusting Dabo. We definitely need to get a decent left left back in the summer. Preferably somebody as good as Rui. We don't get up and but we can know. Right. Uh, where, yeah, put you on. We'll take you off. We'll put on you. Yeah. Middleton. Oh, we'll leave it for now, just in case. Come on, let's show some passion for God's sake. Ugh. What a depressing game. Oh God, Dabo's on. God help us. 
and see how much of a shitstorm he can produce in the next five minutes. Weirdly, he hasn't he hasn't been sent off or helped us concede, so that was good. All right. Lewis Vaughan signs a new contract. That's good to hear. How long are you injured for? Player injury. Okay, that's fine. Uh, history injuries. Specialist six weeks. Okay. So yeah, he's out for the rest of the season. We can't. We can't hope he comes back. Right, last game of the season against Celtic. Uh, probably going to be an absolute bloodbath. All right, we've got a few clubs after Rosler. Right, so I line up for the last game of the season. Ruse in goal. Rui, right back. Welsh and Rosler in centre defence. Swanson on the left. Uh, uh, Dejavul. Dejavul? Dejavul. Dejavul? Dejavul. And Lennon in midfield. Muskley on the right. Maldini in the middle. Middleton on the left. And Carl Joseph up front. So we'll see how Carl Joseph does. Dele Alli back on the bench, there is Lewis Vaughan, so we can always bring them on. Oh, there we go. Rui. <gasps> what a cross, what a header by Carl Joseph. Maybe we should have been playing Carl Joseph up front instead of bloody Vaughan. Or Dele Alli up front. Maybe our fortunes would have turned quicker. Bloody captain. Gary Rue is captain. 18 years old. You'd love to see it. He's flipping knackered though already. Uh, that's what Dabo on. Oh, God help us now. One nil against second place Celtic. I will take that all day long. Oh God, here they go. They're going to score for a miss, aren't they? Just as I bloody jinxed it. That was lucky. Oh, bloody hell, Middleton's knackered. We've got to take him off. Two players off before half time. That's good. Uh, fire up Maldini. Fire up Musgree. Hopefully, Celtic can't. Get through our defence. Ah, oh well. One one. In a fairly even game, if you look at the stats, they've got a slightly better XG than us. Right, Muskery's coming off. Oh, we can't bloody take any more players off. 1-1 mm, against Celtic, I'll take that, but we'll see if we get a draw first. We've got the next highlight, hopefully. No, we haven't. They've intercepted it already. We get it back, though. Go on, Adini. Musgri. Oh, go on. Get in. Musgri, who was lit, who was on a, who was on a six point two rating at this point, he's obviously improved that now. Uh, very defensive. All 
Right, let's try and see out this game now. If anything, at least we're kind of guaranteed to get at least a point. Fingers crossed. Worst case scenario, I think. If they keep having shots like that, then you don't know, we might get the win. But we'll see. Still plenty of time. Good defending. Go on, Maldini. That's what we want. Passion. We want the players. They want to win this game. Yes, go on. We'll encourage them. Um, I th oh, it's all right. I thought that was a penalty then. Luckily, it's not. Get in. Go on. Great result. We beat bloody Celtic and Rangers in the same season, I think. There we go. Jobs are good. Pardon me. Alright then. We'll just proceed a few more days. See what comes up. Uh, and then we'll call it a day for this episode. Fairly long episode this one, but I have to try and get four games in. So we've got a wage budget of 550k for the season, next season, and 20 million to spend. So it's good. Um, scouting budget's still healthy, so we don't need to worry about that. The wage budget's really healthy. Uh, yeah, and we've got 100% revenue. I'll just cheekily ask them to increase them, even though they never do straight after they announce budget, so it's a bit of a waste of an ask. Uh, affiliate club, maybe? Nah. Performance analysis for the reserves, maybe? Right, we got 41 million for sixth place. <laughs> Unbelievable. Imagine if we had a decent cup run as well. Look at that, 75 million. Yeah, we've got a couple of clauses we could do with buying out, just in case. Right, that's all of them bought out. Right, I'll just forward until um, the end of season thingamajig, and then we'll go through that, and then I'll call it a day. Oh, let's have a look at the support report. So our uh, social media followers are up by 75.9, which is good. It's like one third of what we had before, I think, or half of what we had before. Fair web fans have gone up, core fans have gone down. So it might be because we might be the flavour of the month or something like that, and that's why we're getting a few... Fans that are coming in. Hopefully they'll become core fans. Uh, they want us to play attacking football, possession football, entertaining football, high tempo pressing football. Uh, they want us to sign high reputation players and make the most set pieces. Not asking for much, are you? Work within the wage budget, grow the clubs. Oh, this is previous. No, it's not. No, it's, this is still the same. Sorry, I thought this was previous. Uh, grow the clubs. Go. I can't get my words out today. I'm so sorry. Grow the club's reputation, spend the original transfer budget. They're disappointed by that. Why are you disappointed? Spend bit. Oh, yeah, because I didn't want to spend too big, did I? I'm trying to make it realistic. They want us to. We're building a new stadium, by the way. For, I don't know if anybody. I think people remember that because I think I showed it. Um, they want us to record a Premiership top half finish. And then eventually they want us to challenge in a. Domestic cup com oh, competition is that next season? That is next season. So they just want us to maintain a top half finish, which is what we did. So I don't understand why they were disappointed with last season. Right, let's just get this done. It really doesn't mean anything at this point because you've got to do another one afterwards anyway. So I'll just do this quickly as possible. There we go, they're happy. They've let me know that Lewis Vaughan, Lewis Vaughan is on the downhill. All 
Right, here we go. Rafe Rovers today have announced that the club have uh, been granted planning permission to build a new stadium, construction of the Jimmy Nichols Stadium. That's good. At least it's not just called the Rafe Rovers Stadium Elite, because a lot of time when I see a new stadium being built, it's always just a generic Rafe Rovers Stadium. They know, you know, the club's name and then the stadium. They don't name it. At least they've named after one of their legends. I would like to name it after me, though. But, you know... Um, Will cost around twenty two and a half million. Although this figure will be offset by the oh my god, all oh the whole eight hundred k. It's gonna make such a difference. Uh, the board are delighted to announce this being able to finance the project without having to secure any external funding. So that's good. So obviously the money they've made from the TV deals is paid for this. So um, we've also got additional funding from a sponsorship. So yeah, twenty two million for eighteen thousand stone. Now to put that into context. Um, if we look at facilities, our current stadium is eight and a half thousand, eight, eight, sorry, eight thousand eight hundred and sixty-seven. Um, so it was definitely an upgrade, and we're due to move into the new stadium, uh, literally in two years' time. So it, it won't be built just yet, but it gives me another reason to stick with this save, because obviously the bigger stadium we have, the uh, the more money we'll make, the more fans will come in, grow. Grow the club as expected. I wasn't expecting them to yeah, expand our transfer and wage budgets, but you know, worth a try. Looks like we're losing him, which is fine because he's rubbish anyway. I want to try and bring in a like a Deli Alley type of player in the summer. Somebody that I've like got a big reputation or big name that can do, still do the job. So that's my aim for this summer. Yeah, we're trying to sign him on a permanent transfer, aren't we? Oh no, we've already got him on a permanent transfer. I think that's to do with his contract. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. Such an idiot. Right, new signing has come in. Lovely South American player, Thomas Escalante. See, that rolls off the tongue nicely. Very versatile player, can play in several positions. Main position is the advanced playmaker support in midfielder, though. Uh, balanced personality, only 26 years old. Used to play for Defensor Y Justicia. Hopefully he will. Hopefully he'll feel welcome because we've got quite a few South American players here now. Actually, let's have a look at the dynamics for a second. I just want to see uh, hierarchy. So we've got Lewis Vaughan, Dominic Ball, and Warner as the team leaders, and then highly influ highly influential players Hoyland, Welsh, and Ruse, and then obviously we've got a few of these. Let's have a look at the social groups. So the core social group has got quite a few of the the main players that have been there for a while. Um, I just assumed there'd be... Oh, there we go. Secondary group. We've got loads of the South American boys here. And obviously we've got Mabeo uh, and that. But yeah, I just assumed all the South American boys would flock together. But yeah, we've got a few of these in limbo here that need to join a group eventually, I think. So yeah. When's the end of the season report happening? There we go. It's almost if like magic. Uh who was our probably our best signing of the season? Bowler probably. Bowler. Warner, finished six. We were only two points ahead of Dundee in that one, but we did well. Uh, we had a we, oh, so we beat Celtic uh, a couple of times, beaten twice. Did we beat Rangers at all? No, nah, we didn't. We didn't get to beat Rangers at all. We lost every time to Rangers. We beat Celtic twice, I think. 
So yeah, so that's good. Right, team of the season for us. Ruse in goal, Rui, Warner, Welsh, Diarte, Fleck, who's no longer with us, Ball, Ince, who's no longer with us, Maldini, Musqui and Hoyland. Uh, uh, Hoyland won the player of the fans player of the season, the young player of the season went to Warner, goal of the season went to Maldini, top score, goal scorer was Hoyland, Musqui had the most assists, most player of the match awards was Swanson, highest average rating was Swanson as well. And uh, most passes per 90 minutes was Rios. We had record breakers. We had most goals by a player in a match. Four goals by Danda. Most goals by a player in a league match. Four goals by Hoyland. Um, worst discipline was Dominic Ball with nine yellow cards. But zero red cards. So that's good. Highest transfer fee received. So we, uh, we broke. We got 1.06 million for... Edouard Lopez, who uh, done quite well there, actually, to be honest. Um, but yeah. Right then, on that note, I'm going to call it a day for this episode. But thank you for joining us on this journey. Hope you enjoyed the uh, end of season. And the next couple of episodes will probably just be me getting through pre-season and the transfer window so don't expect many games but yeah thanks a lot speak to you tomorrow